Alright guys, how's it going? New Age here with our week 3 team builder against the Iowa Aluch Aluches. <laughs> Iowa Aluches. And uh, it is me, New Age Steel coach of the Antelope Valley Agrons, the AVA. And I gotta admit, so far we haven't been doing well. But hey, I mean this is my first league after all. And uh, after the last battle, people were saying like... I've been playing like differently and stuff, and it's true, I have been. I've been trying to be really like preservative and careful, and it's screwing me over. So I'm gonna try and not do that, and I think this may be a good chance for me to do that this week. Um, so we have my team over here on the left. On the right, this is um, the entirety of the uh, Iowa Halucha's draft pick. So they have Thunderous, Cresselia, Rod or Rodham. Well, they do have Rodham, but I meant to say Don Fan. Don Fan, Shanalor, Verizion, Swellow, Mega Gyarados, Mew, Rodham, Embor, and Zatu. So, uh, one of the things I noticed, his team is pretty weak to ice. Um, a good five out of his 12 are weak to ice. Uh, so that's pretty cool to keep in mind. Um, also, he has a pretty decent dark weakness, even though we we don't exactly have a dark Pokemon, but uh, what I did bring, and I have some notes on the side, um, I think what I brought is, is going to be nice. It's going to be nice. <clears throat> so, first off, we got Kree, the uh, Choice Scarf here in black. We're bringing Choice Scarf again. I do, I normally bring Choice Scarf a lot. I'm, I've considered not to each time it's just that with how high its attack stat is choice scarf really works uh especially in a lot of scenarios especially this week um because he has a lot of strong like fighting type pokemon or pokemon with fighting type moves so he has say like um Verizion and Embor that are both like can have hard-hitting fighting moves as well as Thunderous with Focus Blast um, and Verizion is naturally faster than Kyrium and Choice Scarf Embor which is totally a thing is faster than Kyrium so this week I felt I actually like seriously needed Choice Scarf Kyrium um, but the moveset is pretty interesting uh, first off the main thing I want to touch on is the amount of speed I gave it wait it says there's 72 remaining what the heck Really? Oh, it's because it didn't go max attack. What the hell? Anyways, anyways. Um, so, yeah, we're going with the special attacking set this week. Um, the amount of speed I gave it, along with the choice scarf, uh, for one, outspeeds everything on his team, as well as outspeeds a plus one Gyarados. So, if he does decide to bring a Dragon Dance Gyarados, uh, this should be enough um, investment in speed to outspeed a plus one Jolly Gyarados. Also, I'm gonna have to do something about those EVs, whatever. Just put it there um, for rocks and all that stuff. Uh, but the moveset I felt was pretty nice. Um, so first off, I wanna say we have Earth Power um, for things like Rodom and Embor um, and Chandelure. Uh, just kind of overall coverage throughout a lot of things um, and then there's Ice Beam like I said hits a ton of things hits uh, Thunderous, Dawnfan, Verizion, Swellow, and Zatu all the stuff that Earth Power did not cover um, and then Fusion Bolt for the Gyarados um, the only sucky thing is well later on down the road I won't be being intimidated so Fusion Bolt does do a decent amount to Gyarados um, and we'll always outspeed it, at least the plus one variant. Um, but for the last slot, I decided to go with Psychic, actually. It's an interesting move. Um, I didn't necessarily need any more coverage, but what Psychic does is it allows me to save it and catch him off guard if, um, you know, eventually he finds out I'm Scarfed and he tries to switch between Verizion and Embor if he brings both of them. So say, um he has a Pokemon out and or say he has like um, Verizion out and he wants to scout for like 
the ice beam or something, or he wants to bring in something to take the ice beam, he thinks, oh, ice beam is what he has to hit Virizion, so I'm going to switch into Embor, and he's going to be locked into ice beam. Well, that's not the case. I can instead go for a Psychic, and that hits Virizion and Embor. Um, which, honestly, those are my two main threats, I feel. Um, because my team is actually fairly weak to fighting. Uh, also, the fire type along with the fighting takes care of a lot of my team. Say, for example, if Embor wasn't fire type, just hypothetically, I could have brought Trevenant and I would have been cool. And Trevenant could be Virizion and Embor. But, obviously, it's a fire type, so I couldn't bring Trevenant to reliably take those kinds of hits. As well as things like, um, uh, Swellow being a flying type, uh, Zatu getting Heat Wave, um, Gyarados, Crunch, Ice Fang, those kinds of things. So Trevenant definitely being left out this time around. Um, so yeah, that's why I brought Psychic. It also works the other way around if he's trying to scout uh, to take Earth Power. Um, and he has Embor out and he decides he wants to switch into Virizion. I just go for Psychic and it hits both of them anyways. So that works out pretty well. So next up we got Electric Jerry. Uh, another Choice Scar Pokemon. For one, because he also has a Rodom of his own that can be Choice Scarf, so basically I had to put max speed into it to be able to like speed tie with it or something. Um, let's see. So yeah, uh, Choice Scarf, Rodom, hitting Gyarados, obviously, because um, Gyarados can be a problem. Um, but I feel my hope is if I can get rid of Gyarados and his fighting types. Nothing else is really an issue. Obviously, Mew can run some crazy stuff or anything. Um, and, you know, Thunderous, if it's like Nasty Plot, that could get really sketchy. But at the same time, uh, my Manetric and Rodom and um, Kyrie can all outspeed a Thunderous. So that's something to keep in mind. Um, so, yeah. Uh, that's why I decided to bring Choice Scarf Rodom. Also gave it Trick for things like Cresselia. Um, I don't want to get walled by that. I could also trick the Dawn fan. That would be an interesting one because I definitely have like ground immunities in Rodom and Golbat. As well as if he's locked into Earthquake against like my Ferrothorn. You know, that's good news for us. And that potentially stops him from getting rid of hazards as well. Um, so different things we could choice lock. Uh, choice locking the Mew. Uh, so far I've seen um, that he brings a lot of... Uh, he brings offensive Mew sets. So if I'm thinking like either Life Orb or Expert Belt, if we're able to Choice Scarf him into that, he can't switch up his moves and hit, you know, get that perfect coverage that he has. He has to constantly choose between one. Uh, so that's another thing we could trick. Uh, so just a lot of potential trick targets for us. Uh, that would be nice with Rodham. And then I decided not to bring Overheat just because of Chandelure. Uh, for one, he has a lot of things I could take a fire move. Um, and two, Chandelure having Flash Fire, it, it's just not a good scenario. I'd rather have Volt Switch with the Switch Initiative and then Discharge for a strong hit against Gyarados and potential Paralysis Chance. Uh, and then HP Ice, obviously, like I said, a lot of his team is weak to Ice. So then we got Bag and Black, the main Nitric. Um, this one was a fun set. I like messing around with main Nitric set if I can. Um, first off, we'll talk about the IVs. The speed is enough to outspeed. Actually, I thought as fast as Mon was Thunderous at 110 or 111. So it would have been cool to just be able to outspeed that. But I saw that Swellow is actually 125, so I had to give myself a lot more speed to be able to outspeed that. Basically, like, Swellow isn't a threat, but also it can do a huge amount of damage to my Manetric, and if I can just outspeed it and kill it, it, like, Swellow dies to Volt Switch or Thunderbolt one-shotted, so... I didn't want a Pokemon that wasn't a problem to all of a sudden become a problem. Um, granted, I really don't think he'll bring Swellow, but I want to be pre prepared for as many Pokemon as I can. Also, something really awesome is we do outspeed a Choice Scarf Embor. Um, I'm pretty sure we outspeed a max speed Choice Scarf Embor with this main Nitric set. So that's really cool. Um, Embor can hit us insanely hard, but... If we do decide to put ourselves in that point where we have to get rid of Me Mega Manetric against Embor, Thunderbolt does a clean like 60-70% to him. Um, so that's something to keep in mind. Also, Thunderbolt hits a lot of stuff on his team. Volt Switch is good for his Switch Initiative, HP Ice for the Ice Coverage. And then here, like I said, I didn't want to go for Flamethrower or Overheat because of all of his Fire Resist and things like... Uh, 
Chandelure maybe having Flash Fire. So what I decided to do was give it Snarl. Snarl is really cool um, because things like um, like Focus Blast from a Thunderous that could do 60 to 70% to me. I can hit him first with the Snarl. It'll do like 40 to 50 and then I can knock him out with a Thunderbolt after. Um, so the fact that I outspeed plus have a status dropping move is cool because I can make them weaker before they hit me and then finish them off with my move. It also helps me, um, so it gives me like something to hit Chandelure with very reliably. Um, also helps me weaken special attackers like Rodom. Hydro Pump from Rodom I think can do like 60 to 70. Same scenario with the Snarl, it does like 40 to 50. So that's a lot nicer. Um, weakening the Mew, hitting it for super effective and if it's a, a special attacker it makes it weaker. Same for Cress. Um, Hits it super effective, makes it weaker. Shannelora, same scenario. Same for Zatu. Swellow, I'm not worried about with Manetric, I just attack it. Um, so a lot of reasons why Snarl, I think, is really cool, and it, it'll be a lot of fun to see if it uh, works out the way I feel it will. Um, so yeah, Mega Manetric basically for that. Um, Flamethrower does a lot more to Verizion than HP Ice, but I'm not really trying to leave Manetric in against that anyways, because Flamethrower doesn't one-shot it no matter what. Um, and I, I wasn't going to run Overheat on this. I don't even know if Overheat one-shots Verizion. Um, but I have other things on my team for Verizion, like, um, like Golbat or um, Kyrie. So... That, that's what I decided to go with for this set. And then we got Ringer of Death, the Umbreon. Now this one, I really wanted to put Sucker Punch on it just because I felt like if we got the team weak enough, uh, it'd be cool to just be able to have that priority to pick off a few things that maybe it might come in handy. Um, but I, I really feel Protect is a lot better. Um, mainly because... For one, I could definitely definitely see him bringing moves like Focus Blast, Stone Edge, things like that. Um, and it would be cool to kind of like stall those out if we need to, or like Hydro Pump from Rodom, things like that, or Fire Blast from Chandelure. A lot of like low PP moves that would be cool if we can stall them out. But another reason is, like I said, Scoi uh, <laughs> Choice Scarfed Empor, uh is totally a thing. Uh, so having Protect on us, if he is Scarfed, means we get to scout what move he's going for and then switch accordingly. We don't have to like say, uh, hope he's going to go for a fire move, leave like my Umbreon in and he goes for superpower and one shots us, something like that. Even though uh, Flare Blitz actually does have a chance to one shot us because we're not physically defensive, we're specially defensive because I have Golbat and Ferrothorn as my physically defensive Pokemon. Also, I ran the Calcs for basically every Pokemon, all of his special attackers against Umbreon. I mean, damn, Umbreon is not getting worn down by any of the special attackers whatsoever. Um, the only thing I really have to worry about is Focus Blast, but even that doesn't one-shot me. And along with Wish and Protect, being able to like stall those out, it would be really cool. Um, obviously, Synchronize, so Cresselia can't Toxic stall me, um, so I put Heal Bell as well. Um, and Heal Bell for the rest of the team too, because he does have slight um, status spreading with like Paralysis with Thunderous, uh, potential burns with Rodom Embor, uh, Chandelure, I mean, even Zatu. I think Swellow gets Heat Wave. I don't know, that might just be Pidgeot. Um, and then, like, Toxic, obviously, with certain Pokemon. So, I don't want to have to worry about getting worn down by status, uh, which unfortunately means the only move I have to hit anything with is Foul Play. I really don't know how I feel about this, but at the same time, I don't think I have any other moves. I might switch it for body slam um otherwise that's it i think i might just do that i don't know uh mm, well you know this is the team build vid video let's let's check it out because my problem is i don't want him see my only move would be uh foul play meaning he could bring in something like verizion and just get uh get the uh justified boost so <laughs> Ringer of death <laughs> So That's why I'm a little bit sketchy about it, but then now when I think about it like what does foul play really hit like Mega Gyarados becomes a dark type So foul play. I mean, I guess it does a decent amount say if he's at plus one 
Uh, like I said, we're not physically defensive, uh, but we still take that well. I mean, foul play doesn't do too much, and then... Let's see, who else would he have? I mean, yeah, like, foul play doesn't really hit most things. Um, let's see if maybe I changed it to body slam. That's the only other thing I would consider. Yeah, body slam does absolutely nothing. Um, and then against Verizion. Yeah, damn. Yeah, body slam still does nothing. Um, it's just it getting that boost. Yeah, foul play actually does a lot. Um, but then if I hit him with foul play and he comes in and gets boosted to plus one, close combat for sure kills us. Um, but then there's things like, you know, a special attacking Verizion. I guess that wouldn't matter as much. Uh, Focus Blast doesn't do too much, so that's pretty cool. Well, I mean, it does do a lot, but, you know, as, as you can see, like, all the other moves we take very well. Um, even say, like, an interesting one is, like, Rodham Wash. Just say, like, if it doesn't have any special attack investment, like, that's a Hydro Pump, and it does nothing, so. Uh, things like that, really cool to keep in mind. I'm not going to use this to try and beat Embor of Rizion, uh, really, at all. Uh, but I guess Foul Play is my best bet, even though Gyarados resists it, it still does more than Body Slam, so I guess I will hang on to that. So, next up, we got Deadshot the Gold Bat. Um, so, this one, obviously, for things like... Um, Embor and Verizion. Uh, I also wanted to bring it for. I wanted to bring it for Cress. I actually don't know how. I think I calc this at one point, but I don't remember um, how much Psychic from Cress does to Golbat. Because uh, basically, I didn't. I didn't want the same thing to happen this week as it did last week where I wasn't ready for a wall um, but he doesn't have a poison immunity so I'm definitely bringing uh, I, I'm just bringing toxic so yeah th this isn't too bad um, Psyshock kind of like has a chance to three hit chaos uh, but we do have things like Roost, obviously, and I'm not really going to count on Brave Bird. I can actually taunt him first so we can't Calm Mind or Thunder Wave or anything, and then proceed to Toxic from there. And then be faster than him, and, you know, taunt and all that stuff. Obviously, like, Trick Room is a thing, too, but... I don't know. I'm... Trick Room could make sense on his team, um, because it would make things like Embor outspeed things like, um... Like, Kyrim. But, I don't know, we'll see. I, I don't really see him bringing a Trick Room team. I don't know, that's just me. Because all that really benefits is Embor, which Embor does do good, but not, like, fantastic. Uh, but yeah, so I brought um, more so, like, a physically defensive fast uh, Golbat. Also, the Golbat, the speed IVs I gave it and everything is enough to outspeed a Mega Gyarados. So that way... I can come out on it and just taunt it right away so that way it can't like um it can't set up on me with a dragon dance or something like that so let me see yeah 147 so just enough to outspeed jolly gyarados um i mean we don't even take this well to be honest <laughs> but we do outspeed him so we could definitely like roost off the damage and things like that and Bird does a decent amount to him as well uh, but Toxic Stalling is definitely within the means of uh, happening against his team. Also, things like Mew that have Synchronized. It can't Synchronize Toxic to me because I'm a Poison type. So things like that are really cool. Um, just things to keep in mind. Golbat just kind of does like okay against the most of his team. But it's it's mainly to try and help me beat the fighting types. It doesn't outspeed things like Verizion. Verizion is way too fast. Um, so... This is like a physically offensive set. Stone Edge obviously does a nice chunk to us, but Brave Bird will one-shot Verizion anytime. So it, it definitely uh, checks things like Verizion. So then last, we got Double Tap the Ferrothorn. We haven't brought Ferrothorn yet, um, and I wanted to try and mix it up this time around, bring some different stuff. So we, have, we also haven't brought uh, Bringer of Death, so that's something fun. Um, I was against bringing Ferrothorn at first just because it's adding another fighting weakness and, you know, weak to Embor and stuff as well. 
but Ferrothorn just does such a good job of countering things like Rodham, um, Dawn Fan as well. Like those are just things we don't have to worry about. Um, it could even potentially stall out Cress. And another interesting uh, thing is is uh, is that Ferrothorn with Gyro Ball. Because I was debating Gyro Ball or Power Whip just because I wanted to be able to hit the um, Rodham. But at the same time, like um, at the same time, it cannot do anything to me. So Virizion, a uh, gyro ball hitting Virizion with our set does a clean 60. I mean, you see it right there, the calc 67 to 80 percent. So I was thinking like, oh, I'm not gonna be able to like really wall Virizion, but if it wants to come in on me and hit me and get hit with the gyro ball, then that's just fine. Close combat doesn't one shot us. Um, the heck? Where are my IVs or my EVs at? <laughs> I don't know what I'm running right here. What the hell is this? I don't think I IV this right. Well, it doesn't look like I IV'd it at all, to be honest. Um, I don't know if that's the set I'll run. I mean, it's an option. Physically defensive. So, yeah, even more so. If that's the case, Gyro Ball. Still does a lot, and close combat does not do much at all. Um, along with protect and leftovers, I don't know. Depending on rolls, we might be able to live something like that. Um, I could also try and put in a little more attack investment. But, I mean, you know. Uh, it's meant to be defensive, and uh, it also walls things like Gyarados. I'm pretty sure. I don't know why they don't put, like, Earthquake on this set. I mean, I guess it's optional between, like, Earthquake and Crunch and stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, Crunch is his higher city moved us 31%. Like, it's it's not an issue at all. And then if he does decide to boost up on me, that just means um, that Gyro Ball starts to do, like, more and more damage. Even though it's not showing that, but whatever. Um, and, you know, we can do things like Leech Seed. Um... I might actually, let's see, if I raise my attack, yeah, well I was saying I'd want to give myself enough investment to always break a Mega Gyarados sub, but at the same time, if he's a sub Gyarados, he might have HP on himself anyways, um, so Gyro Ball would pretty much never break it. Um, also to Deadshot with Infiltrator, hitting with Brave Bird is always an option too. Um, or just Toxicking him behind the sub, that would be hilarious. So things like that. Um, so yeah, I felt Ferrothorn really works out. Um, and then again it walls things like Dawnfan. Obviously there's things to worry about like Embor and Chandelure, but honestly Embor, like if he wants to hit me with a Flare Blitz, it's going to take a lot of recoil and a lot of damage on itself as well. Um, so I really think Ferrothorn was worth it. Also, like, a stealth rocker that's not weak to water or grass. Because right on, I mean, just being weak to, like, you know, energy ball, giga drain, hydro pump, like, any water move, th things like that. Right on was weak to a lot of things. Um, and then also with Protect, Elite Seed, the Leftovers, it, it gives me really good recovery if he makes the wrong plays. Like, I can... I'm pretty sure I can uh, stall out Cress uh, pretty well. I mean, I'm sure it could have like HP Fire or something like that. Which, I'll check that out right now just to see how much it does. Hidden Power Fire. Yeah, it does a decent amount because we're not specially defensive, but I mean, we could for sure take it and get some HP back. Like two turns of Leech Seed and Leftovers thanks to Protect. Um, we can probably do a decent job of stalling that out somewhat if we have to. Um, I don't know exactly what set he's going to run on things like Mew and all that. But yeah, that's pretty much the team. Um, as far as what I feel he's going to bring, I really don't know. There's a lot of stuff that I would know he would bring. Where's the cursor for this? Um, and there's a lot of stuff that, like, if he did bring it, he'd be missing out on other things. So... 
I mean, right off the bat, I would say like Gyarados Crest, Emboar, Virizion Mew, and Dawn Fan, just because it's he has a lot of stuff to choose from. But then if he brings things like that, you know, he misses out on say uh, Chandelure for like a potential Ferrothorn or something, or um, you know, if he's gonna bring Emboar and Virizion, and then if this is the case, he doesn't have Zat two for Hazards, you know, so. I think he's going to have a lot of trouble be choosing because he does have a lot of options. Um, but the good thing about that for us is, you know, the more options he tries to squeeze in, the less threats, you know, he'll have. Um, or less utility. Like, if he decides to go all offensive and bring, like, Gyarados, Virzion, and Embor, you know, then he'll probably have to bring some kind of defense, like... Uh, Crest, Don Fan, and Zatu. So then we don't have to worry about like Rodham being choice scarfed or anything. We don't have to worry about Chandelure with like say fire moves or being scarfed as well. We don't have to worry about Mew having all of its attacks or like a nasty plot thunderous. So there's, you know, like I said, if he wants to bring certain things cool, he'll always miss out on other things on his team as well. So we just gotta hope that we got prepared as best we can and hopefully hopefully we can pick up a win this time around and start uh start racking them up from there i don't even know if by this point i can make it to the finals um but i'm still gonna try my best to get as far as i can and get as many wins as i can and you know if it doesn't work out in the end there's always next season to try and do all this league stuff uh so yeah guys let me know what you think about the team down below uh let me know like what you think um our opponent is going to be bringing and what kind of stuff you maybe would have done differently this that you know just share your opinions down below um the iowa haluchas their coach will be down below the youtube channel and their twitter so go ahead and check them out and uh i'll see you guys on saturday with the battle till then i'm new still keep on watching see you guys next time later